Good morning. It is Wednesday the 15th of October and I've realised I'm a bit overdue on a un universal credit update. And that's because there hasn't really been any news. It's a bit weird. So I have been on the protected year for universal credit for the last year that ended on the 20th of August and I put in my last claim and then normally I would get a statement through on the 23rd of the month to tell me how much I was getting and give me all the calculations and then on the 27th the money would come through and I detailed this on my last video about Universal Credit and it, I didn't get the statement and I didn't get the money through as usual and it was my last month and I thought oh here we go so I messaged them and apparently they had forwarded it to a decision maker because they needed to look at my capital which didn't make any sense because my capital hasn't changed for the last 12 months they know what my capital is that's the amount of savings I have and that's not been a problem so I chased it up at the end of September, at the end of August, because I hadn't heard anything, and then magically on the 6th of September, it appeared, and the calculation was as normal, etc., etc. So that came through, and then I didn't do anything because I thought, well, they're going to close my claim now because I'm at the end of the 12 months. You know, it doesn't matter anymore. And nothing happened. So I then got an email telling me I had to submit my accounts for September so that'll be the 21st of August to the 20th of September and I ignored it because I'm not eligible for universal credit anymore I thought well it's just taking time for it to get through the system and then my claim will close but I then messaged them because I don't know if closing my claim means that they're not going to keep looking at the savings interest that I need to claim back because I mistakenly included my savings interest in my income and apparently you're not supposed to do that. And so I thought well that maybe that's the reason the claim is still open is because they have to process that before they can close the claim. But now I've had another request to put in my monthly income for the 21st of August to the 20th of September. And if I don't put my income in as usual, they're going to close my claim anyway. So I've messaged them again and said, look, I know I'm not eligible for this. If I just let my claim close, does this cancel out the investigation into the interest? And nobody will answer me. I've asked this three times now, and all they keep saying is, you need to keep claiming. Now, if I claim for the month that's, you know, my deadline to get my claim in for the August, September month that I haven't done is in five days. I have to get it in by the 20th of October. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to put the I'm going to put the claim in and if they pay me then I'm just going to have to pay the money back when they ask for it because I'm not eligible for the money but all I can think of is that because they are investigating this interest and that's why they've kept the claim up but when I came in with all that paperwork I think it was in I think it was in June was my last meeting with my work coach when I handed over that paperwork so she could start processing that. She said, this can take ages. So I could be claiming for months and months and months and months before they actually deal with that. So, so I'm gonna spend this afternoon, I'm just on my way to my Wednesday morning clean at the moment. I am going to do that claim this afternoon. I'm gonna get all my paperwork. I haven't been monitoring the paperwork in the same way. 
so it's going to be a bit more difficult for me to do the numbers but I'm going to put in a claim for that month to keep the claim open and just see what happens you'd think they'd want you off the system as quickly as possible wouldn't you I don't need to be there but until someone gives me an answer about this interest investigation I don't know what I'm supposed to do they just keep telling me so I don't know whether they say it's being in, uh, it's with a decision maker for investigation, whether they're talking about the interest rather than ending my actual UC claim. But no one will give me a straight answer. I mean, it's in writing. It shouldn't be that difficult to just say uh, that's a separate issue. It doesn't, you know, it's not connected to your claim, or yes, you need to keep your claim open until that's been resolved. Because I don't know whether they're just not going to give, they're going to make me do my monthly number crunching, but then not give me any money because I'm not actually eligible for it. So I have no idea what's going on at the moment. It's weird because the year's been actually quite good. Everything has run relatively seamlessly until that last month, and now it's just turned into a very confusing thing and I don't know what on earth is going on. So I'm just gonna keep putting claims in until they tell me otherwise, because I have no idea what's going on now and no one seems to be able to give me an answer. And it's annoying because you put your, you ask your questions on the journal, etc., etc., and every time you get replied, it's somebody different. It's never the same person. And yet the journal is in front of them. They can look through the message history and they can understand where we are in the situation. It's not difficult. It's just so easy just to look down the messages. And no one seems to be able to give me a straight answer to anything, which, <coughs> to be honest, is fairly standard for this department, I understand. I've not had a problem with it until now. It's just absolutely, oh dear, oh dear. It's just silly. But you imagine that people who have normal claims and have to go through this confusing set of non-responses on a regular basis it must drive people absolutely nuts. Anyway, so yes, I'm off to my Wednesday clean. It's really dark today it's really dismal it's really wet and rainy but it's really warm we're going through a phase of I think for about a week of really warm temperatures so I think it's going to be up to like 16 17 for the next week during the day which is nice because not having to wear quite so many jumper layers even though it's going to be pretty wet every day. So that's my UC update. I don't have anything else at the moment because they ain't telling me nothing. So I'll keep you updated and as usual with all of these UC videos, if you have questions or concerns about your own universal credit situation do put them through I get quite a few questions come through on the comments for whoever's watching and as well as for me asking questions about claims um, asking for advice so that's really good and it's good that people are responding and giving people answers um, it's turned into quite a, a constructive little playlist which um, which was really what I wanted it to be. So there's my point of view, and then you've got other people in different situations, and um, asking questions about their version of universal credit. Yeah. So I'm glad that that's helping people out. So I'll catch up with you again soon. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your week whenever you are watching this. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.